Hey you guys, it's springtime. Welcome to the Blending with Henry Show. Today I'm truly proud to share with you a milestone that I achieved. And honestly, I couldn't have done it without you. But first, we're talking about Vitamix reaching their milestone 100th anniversary in business and they've created this amazing cookbook filled with delicious recipes by Vitamix themselves as well as various talented individuals. And one of those various talented individuals happens to be me. Yes, Vitamix reached out to me and asked me to share my prize recipe with them to put in their milestone cookbook. Thank you, Vitamix. It's one of those highlights in your life when you know your hard work has paid off. And my awesome viewers and customers have helped me to achieve this. So thank you to all of you as well. Absolutely one of the happiest days of my life. This is really a beautiful cookbook. And all of my Vitamix foodies need to grab a copy for themselves, especially since my recipe is in it. <laughs> now, it's filled with beautiful pictures of the history of Vitamix and a large array of recipes, including smoothies, shakes, cocktails, quick breads, dressings, desserts, baby food, and awesome recipes for your pets. And of course, soups, which is what I contributed. The Vitamix 100th Anniversary Cookbook sells for $24.95 USD and will be available on 4-27-21. And you can pre-order it using the link below the video or on BlendingWithHenry.com. And it also supports my work. So once again, I thank you. My recipe is called Herb Infused Creamy Sweet Onion Soup and it's on page 115. Now, it was tested by the head chef in the Vitamix kitchen so his studio picture looks slightly different than my real life picture so I have a close up for you to see and follow. This is sort of a reverse direction of the very famous French onion soup. Now it's not just a creamy version, it's 100% plant based with caramelized onions, parsnips, fresh herbs and more. Now here's a closer view of the recipe step by step so you can follow along. But of course you guys, I'm going to perform the recipe from start to end right here. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is add two tablespoons of your favorite oil to a skillet over medium heat. Then we're adding one large honey crisp or pink lady apple rough chopped. So I'll take the apple into a fork tender and brown and it'll be about five to eight minutes. Now add two tablespoons of your favorite oil to a stock pot. Begin dropping in two large thinly sliced onions. Now they caramelize much faster when they are thin sliced. Now you can do this with the Vitamix food processor attachment, if you have one. Now I'm cooking four onions here so I can use the remaining for a chunky soup. Now every five or so minutes, remove the lid and stir the onions. Now this may take 45 to 90 minutes. Here's the result. The onions are caramelized and very sweet. You can actually spread them on toast for a snack treat. They are so delicious. Now with a few added ingredients, this is often referred to as an onion jam. To create my herb infused creamy sweet onion soup, we're using the Vitamix Ascent 83500 with a 64 ounce container. Now this recipe works with any full size Vitamix. So the first ingredient is our rough chopped sauteed honey crisp apple. Next is roasted garlic. Now you can choose to roast them separately or saute them with the apples. Now we're adding the main ingredient, our caramelized onions. And you guys can make these onions the night before. Next are raw parsnips. Now they do not need to be sauteed or pre-cooked. They magically create the cream in a soup. One quarter of an avocado. This adds good fats. Rough chopped green bell pepper. Adds a nice flavor note. Now for the liquid. Now we're adding low sodium vegetable broth. Now you can cheat a little you guys and preheat it in the microwave to make the soup hot faster. Now the Vitamix will make the soup hot, but I always like to preheat the broth. Now while you can use any type of broth, if you want to keep this 100% plant based, I would recommend only veggie broth. Now 
Now, pure maple syrup for added sweetness. Next are fresh thyme leaves. Now I'm using the entire thing, including the stems. Gives the soup a fresh herb infusion. Red wine vinegar for a bit of acidity. Crushed red pepper for a slight kick. And coarse kosher salt. Optional, but recommended. Snapping my lid in place. Now, normally I would use the variable speed control, but I'm choosing the soup preset. It has a blend time of 5 minutes and 45 seconds. Okay, you guys, we're almost done. But I'm going to lift the lid of the container to add more ingredients. But look at that steam. The soup is piping hot. Earlier, I mentioned that I doubled up on the caramelized onions. Now, this is so the remaining can be used to add a nice bite to the soup. This is one full cup. Now, I'm going to use the pulse function. Now I'm setting the Vitamix to speed four. Now if you want a chunky texture, then two to three pulses is all you need. Now for a smoother bite, then do four to five pulses. And that is it you guys, let's pour it up. You guys have to try this right away. The herbs smell amazing and look how creamy and chunky the texture is. Remember this is 100% plant-based and no dairy. When garnishing this soup, add a sauteed onion flour along with thyme leaves and a bit of chopped red bell pepper. You can also drizzle some olive oil on top. Now on a platter, add some whole roasted garlic and more thyme leaves. Now I put my heart and soul into this recipe you guys, it's one of the few things in life that I am proud of. I truly appreciate you guys supporting me. Alright you guys, it's always fun sharing time with you, and you can grab the recipe and order the Vitamix 100th Anniversary Cookbook using the links below the video or on blendingwithhenry.com. I just love y'all, see you soon.